Now we're gonna look at the human sexual response cycle. So this cycle is was created by William Masters and Virginia Johnson in 1966, and it basically shows this little paradigm of how the different steps of the human response, human sexual response cycle takes place. So each section is basically showing you what kind of physiological changes that are taking place in the male and female reproductive system. So we'll overlap it a little bit so we have an idea of what to really expect. So first step is the excitement state. Okay, so excitation. So during this phase, you have some kind of stimulus, some kind of visual stimulus, whether it's mechanical, visual, auditory stimulus, what can be even olfactory, so some kind of smell, or even taste that can get you excited erotically. So there is some kind of stimulation, and this causes this first physiological response in the males where and females where their erectile tissue becomes engorged with blood. So during excitation, we are in a parasympathetic response. So remember, the rest and digest response where everything becomes hyperdilated in the reproductive system. So in the penis, the shafts of the penis would become engorged with blood. And then in the female vulva, the clitoris, all of these regions would be engorged with blood in order to prepare for intercourse or coitus. So during this phase, excitation, this is all of this pre-reproductive cycle phases and eventually we lead to the plateau phase so in the plateau phase everything is highly engorged you have all of these different secretions whether it's from the male reproductive system or the female so and then for example in the female reproductive system certain kinds of bartholin glands begin to secrete their lubrications preparing and again eventually preparing for an orgasm so this be before Plateau, this plateau phase is a pre-orgasmic phase. So before the orgasm or any kind of ejaculate or contraction that's gonna be taking place. And then finally we have the orgasm, okay? So orgasm happens both in males and females. In males, it's caused, called ejaculation. Ejaculation is a sympathetic response. This sympathetic response is all generated for the release of semen. So semen is a fluid that contains sperm and other nutrients and other metabolites that allows for the proper form of fertilization. Females also have orgasms and their orgasm usually is accompanied by certain kinds of uterine and vaginal contractions that are being taken place. It's much easy, easier to have a male orgasm Versus a female, females take much longer to do it because they need proper, more, much longer stimulation. And what's really important is when we get to the next phase is the resolution phase. So resolution phase is the step after, after the entire human reproductive cycle, sexual response cycle. After an orgasm, after a man orgasm, he needs to take a break, right? There's an actual time that you need to take a break and have a time to recuperate. So this, this is referred to as the resolution phase in order to readjust, recalibrate everything. So have you know semen being reproduced again. But what's unique about this phase is that women do not have this phase. So women do not have this resolution phase of, you know, quote unquote, need to take a break because over, over a long period of time, women can have multiple orgasms back to back to back to back to back and they can keep doing it, no problem. Men on the other hand, after every orgasm needs some time to recuperate. So there's an instance where you guys are getting intimate with each other and the male says, you know, the guy says, you know, I need to take a break. And you're basically peer pressuring him. Uh, if you ever let him take like a nap or something, like a five, 10 minute nap to recuperate, then you can go back and enjoy yourselves during this process.